एवरीवन वेलकम टू गेट अकेडमी सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस मेनी ऑपरेटर्स लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स एंड अदर ऑपरेटर्स लेट अस ट्राई टू राइट अ सिंपल प्रोग्राम बेस्ड अपॉन दीज ऑपरेटर्स सो दैट वी विल हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ प्रिंट एफ स्कैन एफ एंड एवरीथिंग यूज्ड टू वर्क आउट टुगेदर सर सर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग अ प्रोग्राम to calculate area of a triangle to calculate area of a triangle sir sir there are so many formulas used to find out the area of a triangle for example one formula is hero's formula s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c sir where to use it when when it is given that three sides are a b and c and s is semi perimeter that is a plus b plus c by 2 sir other formula is if if the base and height of a triangle is given then we could find the area of a triangle as 1 upon 2 b into h or 1 by 2 bh yeah bh by 2 it's it's bh by 2 you can Write it like this: bh by two base into height divided by two. <coughs> sir, sir, there are so many techniques, there are so many formulas. So depending upon depending upon the situation, we will write different program depending upon what are inputs. So let us try to write program for this. That means what I am writing: given base and height and what we need to calculate we need to calculate area so try to understand the scenario sir if this is my program if this is my program what we are supposed to provide what are different input we need to provide to this program sir how we can how someone can calculate area if i say calculate the area you will ask sir give me the base and height then only i will be able to calculate the area na so 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 for this program we must provide base and height that means user will provide two input user will provide two input from the keyboard okay sir that means sir user is providing data from keyboard we need to store that data in our program where we are going to store that values coming from the keyboard sir we can store values inside variable that means that means in our program we must have two variable to store the base and height sir is it necessary that the variable name must be base it is not necessary but but it will be a good approach to use to use meaningful names okay then our program will do some calculation what calculation sir sir our program will do calculation like 1 by 2 b into h and once it is stored the area then it need to print the area using printf using printf okay sir try to understand we will we will scan two values using scanf then calculation is done here and then output will be there how many variables do we need sir we need to store base and height and also we need to store area that means that means in our program what i need three variable sir what should be the type of these variable sir in general we must take them as float because 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 the base could be a float value the height could be a float value and a float into float a float into float sir we have already discussed this that that the result of any operator the result of any operator solely depends upon the behavior of the operands if both the operands are float then the output should be float so if i say that the base and height both are floating point data type then the result of b into h divided by 2 must be a float type so so the very first thing we need to understand is sir let us write this program in a good way hash include stdio.h void main sir 
whenever we need to whenever we need to take input from the user what we must do sir we must display a message i have already discussed this to make your program more user friendly whoever will use your program must get to know what he or she is supposed to do how he or she will interact with your program so sir firstly we will display a message that enter the base of the triangle okay sir how many variables should i take sir you must take three variable base height and area what should be the data type the data type must be float okay what about this sir this is the declaration now what i need to ask sir we need we'll ask from the user that please enter the base of the triangle sir print f enter the base value or base of the triangle okay then 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 what will happen sir on the monitor screen on the monitor when this program will execute this printf will print this enter and the cursor is here now now after reading such a statement what will user respond sir user will enter some value like 10.36 and enter sir but 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 sir 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 try to understand sir just 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 by print f what will happen sir this will happen but we are going to fetch a value sir how we can fetch a value using scan f sir scan f scan f required two things first it will ask in which format in which format should i read the value coming from the keyboard so since we are going to deal with floating point number i will provide percentage f and second thing we will say that that whatever value user is giving sir where we should store it where we should store it sir at, we will provide we will provide the address of this variable that means we are saying to scanf that that whatever value this 10.36 is coming store that inside this base that's why we will provide the address of the variable base okay sir in a similar manner in a similar manner sir what we need now we need we need the user we need the user to enter the height that means again we will do something like this print f enter the height of the triangle okay enter the height of the triangle then sir scan f sir again in which format we are interested sir float format percentage f and where we want the second value to be stored sir inside the variable height so what we need to provide we need to provide this address using m percent height so by this code two inputs two inputs are given by the user and is stored inside base and height let us suppose user provide 10.0 and 20.0 now we have base and height sir sir then what we need what we need sir we need some calculation part sir it is nothing but the formula area is equal to base into height by 2 sir how can we write sir in mathematics we used to write bh by 2 sir will it work let me take another variable area okay sir will it work dear it will not work this is the first error most frequently done by students see in mathematics if we don't provide any operator then then implicitly it implies that it is a multiplication but it is computer it is this is given to a computer not to a human 
how computer will understand that b h is b into h so you need to provide the operator so please note it down this is the very first mistake done by students sir we must provide something like this b multiply h divide 2 again there is a mistake again there is a mistake can anybody tell me is it is there any mistake sir if division will be performed first then there is a mistake but but what will happen sir because of associativity multiplication is done first so this value is calculated first and then divided by 2 okay that is why no mistake but second second most frequently used mistake if you do something like this 1 by 2 into b into h again there is a mistake logical mistake compiler will not going to collect it but this is a logical error why logical error sir no matter what are the values of b and h always area will be zero why it is so sir look at this look at this sir what is the type of first operand integer what is the type of second operand integer sir the result of any operator depend upon the behavior of operand if this is integer this is integer the result must be an integer sir 1 by 2 in mathematics it, the answer must be 0 0.5 but because the both the operand is of type integer what will be the result 0 so don't ever do this don't ever do this either make one as 1.0 if you make any one of them as float the answer will be float that's it that means that means sir we will not do this kind of mistake again so is it good to write b into h divide by 2 yes sir this is okay now what will happen by this sir by this calculation by this calculation whatever be the value of area get stored inside variable area that is 10 into 20 200 by 2 100.0 will be stored inside area sir what we need to print now we need to print the area that's why what will we do sir we will do something like this printf the area is percentage f comma area sir what will happen from this line the area is will be printed as it is if this is the monitor screen the area is will be printed as it is and by looking at percentage f compiler gets to know that some floating value is to be printed at current cursor position but from where from where we should collect the value from the variable area that means this value will be copied here and the answer will be like this so that's that's the code for that's the code for calculating the area of a triangle whose height and base is given try to understand this again sir what about this this is declaration so to store values coming from keyboard and for temporary calculation purpose we declare some variable these two values are coming from keyboard sir what is this input output fetching input by displaying some message so this is nothing but input output instructions sir what about this calculation done by program and what is this sir this is output see don't think this is output output means by displaying these message although these messages are not recommended not mandatory but it is always recommended to go for this okay sir so basically we are taking input from this okay and what about this this is the output sir 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 you already told us that a single scan f is enough yes of course that is why this code can be can be done can be rewritten by using a single printf and single scanf how it is sir we can also write printf printf enter the base and height of the triangle and using a single scanf i can scan both the value percentage f percentage f First value go at the address of base, second value go at the address of height. 
you must know everything that's my purpose so that's how we can write simple program based upon based upon operator concept we will see another program in next session so that's all for this session bye bye take care